Oh no. The Isle of Cthulhu is attacking me. <laughs> ah, that was poor timing. I'm kind of interested to see if I'm capable of defeating the skeleton guy at the dungeon. We are going to go ahead and make it over to the skeleton guy. We're gonna build a small hut. Oh, I should make a bed first. Just gonna put everything away and get some stuff to try and make a bed like a responsible person. So I imagine for bed, you need some sort of thread or cloth or something. And I bet you can make it out of the spider web stuff. I have a bunch of spider webs. But something else you probably need is like a, a loom or something. So can I make a loom? It appears that I cannot. All right, let's see if I can figure out how to make a loom. I need a sawmill. So I need chains. So now I have a sawmill. Let's put that down here with the workbench. Now I have a loom and we'll make silk. Okay, so I need 15 wood and five silk. I have 14 silk and 133 wood. Oh, but you have to craft it at the salt mill. Okay, I now understand. <laughs> I'm gonna craft two beds. I have everything that I need to make a place to stay once I get over to the dungeon. So then after that, I'm gonna need platforms, which I already have. I'm gonna need campfires for healthies. And this is going to be my attack on the dungeon. Okay, is this where the dungeon is? Oh no, the dungeon's still all that way over there. I hate that I'm going all this way at night. And it's a blizzard. Am I gonna get attacked by an ice giant? Because I will definitely die if that's the case. Okay, I made it. So we're not talking to him and we're just doing a little bit of preparation. So this is where I'll make my little house. I forgot to make doors. Oh no, hurry penguins. And I now have three penguins. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Oh, I killed all the penguins, oh no. Okay, I got a couple of doors, got some walls, got a bed and a chair. There, it's a house. So I think by sleeping in the bed, that's how I know that this is my house, maybe. Oh, it still doesn't think it has a wall. Okay. But I know that I have some walls because I prepared ahead of time. I want to test the theory that I will end up here if I die. But if I'm wrong, then I won't end up back here. Well, either way, if I fight the big monster and this doesn't work, then I'm going to end up all the way at the back anyway. I may as well test it now while I have a chance. Okay, let's see. In that case, the hammer that I had was not doing the trick, so I need to make a stronger hammer. Do I not have enough ore to make a hammer? I mean, a copper one at least. Ah, I see. I need to chop down some trees first. Okay, maybe now I can make it. Lead hammer, here we go. Now I don't run as fast. I can't double jump. Well, that means I can't go up that way. Ooh, I really should have thought this through better. I thought I was doing the smart thing, but I was not. Unfortunately, I can't just not get my stuff back. I'll just have to dig through a bunch of stuff, I guess. Oh, I forgot about the monsters and the corruption. They're real strong, and I don't think I can defend myself against them very well. Getting back to the other place is going to be really difficult. I guess I'm less squishy than I was before. Oh, and as long as I'm in a relatively safe place, any amount of knockback typically holds them back. Oh no, it's gonna get behind me. Ugh. I'm not gonna make it through this round, but maybe next time. Okay, I found a way 
to help myself survive. <laughs> if I just keep building a tunnel this way, then I can keep them from getting to me too bad. Except that my copper pickaxe is not strong enough to get through the corruption. So I'm gonna try strategy number two. Strategy number two seems to be working fairly well. Well, I think I got some sort of armor. All right, seven defense, that's super nice. I can't see anything and I don't have the material for torches. So I think I'm gonna have to go through the night like this. But in the meantime, I'll at least try to build through, I think. And I just ran out of dirt. That's not preferable. In the meantime, let's see if I can craft some things with what I have left. For instance, if I can make a slightly better sword, that would help. Okay, that one goes all the way around, so it's slightly better. I have a little bit of armor, I have a slightly better weapon, but I'm still mostly stuck. I can also make a little bit of wooden armor with the material that I have on hand, but it would only increase my defense by one and it would use up some of my materials. Here we go. This one will make me a little bit faster and gives me a little bit more damage. All right, I can make a lead anvil and that gives me about the same increase in defense as I had before. I'm gonna make a bow because it'll give me some distance attack that I don't have at the moment. And let's see, what else can I do? I don't have any slime gel, so I can't make lights. I don't wanna use up any of my other resources so far since I don't have much to go off of. And the moon is over here, so I should be pretty close to daylight. At least enough daylight that I can maybe try and make a break for it. And if I do, then perhaps I can get back to my stuff and re-equip myself and be less of a squishy squish. Because in a game like this, we do not want to be a squishy squish. Not even a little bit. It should be getting a little bit lighter soon. Let's look at the map. Let's see how much further I need to get. I'm not very far away from my house at all. We can do this. I am, I am sure of it. So here we go. Okay, holding my own slightly better than before. Yeah. Yeah, we can be happy with this. This is not awful. Get a little bit more materials. These slimes just keep committing seppuku. I have to find a way up and over. So we'll just do this. Why is there a worm up here? Oh, uh, it pushed me into the hurdy stuff. And then I died. We've made progress. We have a way of getting around. Also, I forgot, I do have a spare good sword. I also have this wizard hat. Do I have any pants? Can I find pants? Come on, pants. Okay, I got a shirt. Uh, I've got something for light. I've got some healthies. I've got some throwies. I have stuff. Perhaps I can make a grappling hook. All right, I now have a grapply. I still can't jump and I'm still slow, but the grappling hook will make that easier. 
I am mildly more confident about my capacity to escape the corruption this time. I just have to not be an idiot. I've gotten past where I was. Okay, I see my death spot. Now we'll just get the good stuff on me already. This is good. This is, is very good. Probably stop running through things that hurt me and I will just do a lot better than what I'm doing. Just be better, Cece. <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm hitting the winter place. This is good. This is really good. Yay, I made it home. Whew. What? Oh, there's a ghost. There's a ghost. I knew I didn't like ghosts. Now let's see if I can get through this. I'm just going to make my bed in a different spot. I think that's what I need. Okay, now is this good enough to be a house? Okay. Is this not how you set a spawn point? I felt like it should be. Okay, I, I now have a spawn point. There we go. Brilliant. That took way more effort than I expected it to. <laughs> now I need to make a suitable battling arena so that I can defeat the skull guy. So campfires will help me heal a little more quickly. I have my spawn point ready. Got my weapons ready. Okay, I think that I am as ready to fight the boss as I can possibly be right now. Okay, here we go. Ooh. Let's try. Ooh, I died. I feel like I maybe wasn't ready for that. So I have okay-ish armor. And I have a pretty good weapon with the Star Fury. I'm gonna test out this one a little bit. I think I got what I need. Let me test out some new weapons. That one is not terrible, actually. Could be better. I could be better at using it. It is pretty fast though. I still don't think I'm quite ready for it. I don't know that I'm strong enough with the weapons that I have. Oh, that's why. Okay. So I was also wondering why clicking on it didn't make the stars come down. It's because of the platforms. They won't go through the platforms. So I can make a little bit of space for it. And it'll also make it easier for me to drop down and change directions a little more quickly. And that means I just need to wait for nighttime, and that'll be attempt two at the at the bad guy. And if I can't get it this time, then we'll have to wait for next time. Man, where's the ocarina of time when you need it? Nope, I died right away. I'm gonna need some better stuff before I attempt that again. Oh no, the Isle of Cthulhu is attacking me. <laughs> ah, that was poor timing. Ah, oh, well at least I could get all of my stuff back right away, I guess. I need at least a little armor before I can do anything. Oh, that was terrible. 
Why would it do that to me? Where are my pants? So I've got platforms built and decked out with all of the holes that I can fall through more easily, all lit up so that I can see what I'm doing. I've got a house built over here so I can set it as my spawn point and I won't have to worry about dying and then having to traverse the entire map to come back here. So I've got everything that I need set up so that I can face the boss next time. But until then, thank you very much for joining me today on CC Rights. I really hope you enjoyed our time together and I will see you later. Mm -hmm.